Hello, this is Jason, aka Recycled Pass, with my very first Silhouette Butterfly Heart tutorial. To jump right on in, I'm running Windows 7 Professional, but that shouldn't make any difference. And I'm using Studio Designer Edition Volume 3. Very minimal items that you need for this project. Uh, you need four sheets of cardstock. I'm using Purple Passion from Recollections that I picked up at Michael's. Some Elmer's glue, pencil, measuring tape. 16 by 20 canvas and the butterfly set I'm using I picked up from the silhouette store ID 77279 by Miss Kate Cuttables. I jump into the project over here as you can see it's set up for my last project so I need to change the page size to match what I'm using which is 8.5 tab down to 11 and type in 11 so now the paper matches my cardstock and let's bring in our butterfly. One of my recent downloads, I have it selected right here. You can see there's a whole bunch of butterflies there. You can pick any of these. I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to right click on the group and ungroup it. Click off of it. Highlight the ones I don't want. Click delete. Click delete. Bring this one up closer to the top of the page. And then I'm going to rotate it and bring it close to the top of the page, but it's going to be pretty big. I want to make this one a little smaller, so I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to make the width one inch, but it's not the I actually want the height to be one inch. Bring it close to the edge here, and then we're going to do some replications. We, we have some friends. Go down to the bottom on the replication, there's a row of four, and row of four again, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to grab this end one using the arrow key and kind of move it to the right a little to give it some space so they're not all touching. I highlight them all and go over to the align and do space horizontally. So now we have a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to right click and group them. And then to continue the party, we'll go back to replicate and make a column of four, column of four, column of four, and let's, let's try one more, column of four. So that fills out the page nicely. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows with seven. And looking at the number I've written down, because I don't remember my times table, is 91. So the next piece is to get the cut ready. And I can see everything's already pink, all the lines are pink, and it's already set to cut. But we don't want to do vinyl, we want to do cardstock. I've already set my blade to four, and these were all the presets, I didn't change anything. I'm going to use just as is, and I'll do the send to silhouette, and I'll see you in about 15 minutes. It takes about 15 minutes per sheet. But through the magic of time lapse, I'll be able to just jump through all that. All right, after you pull the cutting mat out of your cameo, you'll have uh, a sheet here with seven rows of 13 for a total of 91 butterflies. And Depending on the stickiness of your mat and the sharpness of your blade, it will determine how easy or tedious this process of pulling the butterflies off is. My mat is fairly new. It's about maybe two weeks old, so it is very sticky. Um, I changed the blade this time to a four, which was the recommended blade. Last time I did three and all the butterflies stuck to the paper and it was a lot more tedious to pull them off. That was fairly painless. 
Just pop this little guy out just like that. And then you just need to get the rest of them off. And pretty soon you will have a floor full of little paper butterflies, which if you have a cat becomes their favorite new toy. And if you have kids, it's a lot better to step on a paper butterfly than a floor full of Legos. Okay, now we're going to do a little prep of the canvas and I'm not, by prep I'm not painting or anything, I'm just going to kind of, I need to sketch out my heart lightly. So this is a 20 inch canvas, so I'm just going to mark on a 10 inch so I know where the center area is at the top and bottom. Now I want to keep it a little off the bottom so that this is room for extra butterflies. So that's around, around about two inches is kind of bottom there and then hearts you know peak so I'm gonna probably I need to figure out the tops of the two parts of the heart. So if we have two bumps so then if we wanted to center the heart, we would have a we have it at five. Then we have the center at ten, and then we have fifteen. I have the bottom here, so I'm just gonna kind of hand lightly hand, kind of sketch that out. You certainly could find another heart and print it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be gluing all the butterflies over it anyways. So that's just kind of a, the basic heart design. And I'm using four colors, so I want to have four sections, which will work out if I basically just kind of put a line down the middle, here and here, just to have basic areas where I'll be putting each of the colors with it and then I'll blend them in. Using a previous project, I'll just kind of show you the approach that I'll be taking as I as I glue them down. You can kind of see that the gradients here, the lighter, the first one's here, and then you have this next one here and here and here. And what what I kind of did is I didn't have straight lines. You'll see that I kind of blended some of the darker in with the lighter just to kind of make them mingle, hit a light one up up higher than he should be, just to show that the color mixing. And then the other approach is as you see the bottom here. I have them, the butterflies are a lot tighter, tighter here, and I kind of keep that tightness all up here. But as you get to the side here, I start they're starting to be more white space and more and more and more until they kind of fly off. And that's the general approach um, that I took. I also kind of put the butterflies in all different directions. So some of them I glued the side of this wing down or this side, or some of them I glued right in the middle, so he's kind of has both wings. And I just kept flipping them all the different directions just to kind of make it random. Next, I'll start on the actual purple one, just so you can kind of see it in action. All right, I've laid out the butterflies. I pre-folded them all in half, and I've laid them all out kind of in the color bands of how I'll be placing them on the canvas. And let's, let's get started. Now, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just using plain old Elmer's glue. Um, if you paint your canvas or do anything like that, you might, might have to use a different type of glue. I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to... Keep it simple, I just kind of squirt some on the big area. And the first one I kind of place relatively flat right in the middle, just to kind of get started. And then I'm just gonna grab a bunch and just start having a butterfly party. So I'll put a wing down there. Have this one have it face that way. Kind of give the float in the middle a little bit. And I'm just basically putting them almost touching. There, there's a little bit of overlap. Obviously, it really depends on what look you're looking for. Um, using the Elmer's glue is nice because it doesn't dry easily. So if I want to wiggle one around or, or change the placement, I can. And I just kind of keep adding more glue as I need it. And I'm just gonna keep repeating this process of changing direction. Changing the butterfly 
side, and top and down. There's not really a specific approach other than, you know, you're trying to keep the line for the edges that you're following the heart line, which you probably can't quite see on there. But you want to keep it, that's the only thing you really have to kind of keep neat. The blending of the lines doesn't really matter. Squirt more glue. more butterflies and that's all it is I'm just gonna kind of keep doing this until until it's done Thank you for watching my first instructional video. I hope I inspired you to to try to do this yourself. It's not very difficult. It doesn't use that much materials. Um, and there's certainly many ways that you can make it your own. You can choose different color bands. You can use all of one same color. You can choose more or less colors. Go for rainbow effect. You can use a bigger canvas and then just scale up the butterflies to be bigger. You can mix up the butterflies, small ones, big ones. You can paint the canvas a different color. Um, you can add a nice quote or picture on the bottom or wherever you want to, uh, wherever there's room. Um, thank you for watching and thank you to the Silhouette for Beginners group for all the kind words when I posted my first project up there.